What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing a car review. We haven't done one in a long time, and I'm really excited. So right now, we're in a 2014 Mustang GT with the premium package. This car belongs to my friend, Brand Shaw. If you guys remember, his first car was on a 2001 Mustang GT, and we did a review on that about two years ago, and it actually got some decent views on it. Now he's got a 2014, and it's a way different car, and it's kind of his attainable dream car, more or less. Yeah. Definitely. I have to say though, it's a lot quieter than the old one. Oh yeah. And it's got a Borla exhaust. And even though the exhaust is aftermarket, it's still pretty quiet, which is honestly a pretty good thing for a daily. From the factory, this came with 420 horsepower to the crank and 390 foot-pounds of torque. It obviously doesn't put that much down to the wheels. Uh, it's usually about 350 to the wheels, which is still pretty good. This car also has kind of a two octane setting. So if you're running normal, like, regular pump gas 87 octane it knows and it's about a 20 horsepower difference we actually went and put 93 octane in so yeah we should feel that little bit of a power increase won't be much though just a little bit it's got a barton short throw shifter which is one of the best short throw shifters you can actually get clutch is definitely short throw it's <laughs> short throw dipstick um Takes a little, it, it's, it's kind of a heavy clutch, but it's pretty easy to get used to. I've only stalled it one time so far, so that's good. It would be better if I stalled it zero times, but at least I'm not stalling at every other stop sign. Going to get on a little bit. So one thing I noticed, even though it is the premium package, it does have kind of a plasticky interior, and I understand Ford does that throughout all year models for the most part. They focus more on performance over luxury, which, you know, that's understandable. Wow. Bald Eagles! Man, I need to slow down for I get speed I love how easy it is to get into each gear. One thing I noticed whenever Brandon was driving the car, if you start from a dig and you just give it the beans, whatever you want to call it, sometimes it locks you out of second gear. Uh, I believe it's a get track. It's the the company that makes the MT82. Okay. So they had it from 2011 to uh, current, but it's a different model. So they have an MT82 uh, 4D or something like that. Yeah. But it still has a lot of problems. So the transmission is known to have that issue. Yeah. Alright guys, I'll tell you one thing that surprised me. I look down and it says we're averaging 16 miles per gallon. I don't know how accurate that is. If that's true, that's pretty good, honestly. I know your foot's not light either. So drivability wise, it's easy. It's real easy. Like it's it rides good. Now Brandon is upgrading the suspension real soon. It feels pretty planted and decent. Granted, we're not doing any high speed turning, but in a straight line it feels okay. But here's a good little 90 degree turn. We'll see how it does. Yeah, I bet. He knows we're gonna do it for Dale all the time. <laughs> we'll show you guys the traction control real quick. Oh, is that locked and, out? Yeah, that, and it locked out on me. Dang. This is the last year for this rear end design, and in my opinion, this is probably one of the best rear end designs the Mustang has ever had. Uh, the 2015 and later models, they switched it over to, in my opinion, the really ugly facelift. I don't like it. This is probably the best year model as far as aesthetics go. Space wise, it's really spacious in here. The back seat, it's there. You could probably use it. I mean, you wouldn't want to put, you know, adults back there very long, but it's there, you know, just in case you need it. So one cool feature about this here Mustang, it has a in what is it, in dash zero to 60 timer. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how crowds die. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you have it. There's a 2014 Mustang GT. Drop your comment below, let us know what you think. Here's to finally something that's not a Miata, right, Sean? Yeah. Let's see.